Hi Bone Prints. In this video, we are going to learn how to place the fixtures in Capture Visualizer so that we can simulate the show that we are going to do. So, let's get started without wasting time. In previous videos, we learned basics of Avalite and uh, workspace windows, palettes. If you haven't seen those videos, go and check them. It will help us a lot. Let's get started. So my capture visualizer is here. I'll get it to here. And I'll record this workspace with this. Replace workspace. So now what I will do is I need to open the capture visualizer setting. So there's two ways to open that. We can double tap view and open capture visualizer setting. So it came here. There's another way that we can do. We can open through a context menu in capture visualizer and open setting. So it opens. So I'll save this also as a workspace. So in capture visualizer settings, you can see there's tabs, camera, stage, appearance, and shows. So in shows, we can import show files from capture visualizer full version in appearance you can see there's ambient lighting we can control it you'll see if i make it zero it go it went dark and if i put 100 you can see the we can see the ambient i mean this the flow and the walls we can see properly so i'll keep it to 50 and this is smoke density so i'll open my contents and you can see when I put smoke density, so it went zero. If I put it to 100, yeah, smoke is full, like the room is full with smoke. So I'll keep it to 50. Sorry, I'll keep it to 50. And smoke variation means you can see the variation here. So if I make it zero, there's no variation. If I put it to 100, there's a lot of variation and we can increase the speed of the smoke also. So I'll put it 100. You can see the smoke moving faster or I can make it slow. So I'll put it to 50 also. We can change the exposure adjustments and also bloom amount. And the last setting here is uh, render setting. Simple, low, medium, high. If you put high, the detail will be high. We can put to simple also, then you can see uh, the smoke details gone off. You can put it low, medium. So I'll keep it medium for now. And in stage here, you can see this is the floor, this is the wall. If you want to create more objects, we can add from here. Click add and elements. We can see the box and you can see the box is here. We can rename, give a name, maybe platform and we can give a color i'll give rough color okay now this the op uh, opacity and we can give the width we change the height change height okay, i'll change the depth so that's our platform i'll make it black this is not nice okay and orientation we can change the position See, you can see it. We can dial in things. Okay. And here, this is the camera's position. So, there's already four positions that it ha that have saved. It's from left view, top view, front view, and right view. Also, we can save some views as we want. So, this one is position one. So, with this, we can change the camera position move left or right front or back from this one we can move the camera top up or down and in this one there's two modes and now the it's in orbit mode orbit mode means it will turn around in, in one position it will focus to one position and the camera will turn around that position and the rotate mode what we'll do is camera will rotate staying in one position also we can control this movement through uh, our attribute wheels also you can see position x y and zoom is it so now 
let's save a position. Camera moment, camera position. So let's see if I want to save in this position. What I have to do is set the position and save it here. I'll save it uh, left angle. And again, I'll move it to right. I save it as right. right. Now you can see when we press these buttons, it changed to the saved angles. So I'll go back to front angle. I'll put it down, zoom a little bit, and save it front zoom. Done. And also you can see there's another option here. It opens the quad uh, view. We can op open this mode in here also. You see quad view. And enable, we can disable from here also. We can enable. And also we can change the, uh, like select the position. So if I select this one, or you can see it's only changing this position. If I change the down one, it's changing only this one. So it depends on you. You can either choose to use this on quad view or just in one single view. So now let's place our fixtures in our visualizer. I'll locate my quantum. So let's think uh, our quantums, five of them are on a truss and five of them on a ground stack. So I'll clear them again. And what I will do is I will go here and select five of my quantums and hit locate. Now what I have to do is go here and click position and orientation. So you can see position and orientation uh, settings came to my attribute wheels. So now I position my fixtures in the center of the stage. I lift it a little bit because my truss will be in higher. And now what I have to do is uh, I have to spread, I need to spread my fixtures. So what I can do is select fan, then choose the X position. Now my fixtures got spread across my stage. I'll save these five fixtures in a group. And now I'll go select my second picture set. Go here and save them all. Select pictures, hit locate. Now you can see my other five quantums. These are going to be on floor. So now if, if you see, you can see my pictures are not the way I want it. So what I will do is I will press pan attribute here and come to orientation. So I will I can turn you can see I can turn my fixtures as I want. This is not, not the way I want. So I'll turn this. Let's see orientation. Yes, correct. I will press click here 180 and I want my displays to come front. So now I'll do is turn my pictures here press 180 and there's another option I have to say uh, if you press position attribute again it comes to see it changed to rotate if you rotate here so if I see you can see my five pictures rotate together let's try to see you can see you can rotate them together and now what I want is front zoom and I need to position them to ground. Now I need to see this from left side. I'll zoom a little bit. Okay. Now I'll go into front mode again and select fan and I'll spread them. Yeah, that's done. So now my uh, quantums are placed. So now what I need to do is I need to place my LED pass. Uh, so I'll locate them, first file, and I'll give a color so that it, it will be easy for me. I will place behind. And a little bit turn towards the front. So what I'll do is I'll first position them here little bit up and now I will fan them so spread it across 
platform and I'll go to left view now I need to yes that's it and now I'm going to select my second file and hit locate now I'm going to position them I'm going to position them on top you can select the fixtures one by one also I'll show you that wherever you need to place fixtures in different places so what I'll do is I'll select these two fixtures go here tap this two so, so these two fixtures what I will do is I will bring forward and switch on fan and spread it bring it down orientation and turn it yes. and the other three what I will do is same like that I will orientate to up and position them down and spread across the stage I did it a little bit down okay so now I have to place my face lights. I'll locate them and I'll bring them up and to front and center. Okay, now I have to okay, if I need to move more lights, I can do that. So that tilt is too much so I bring them here now let's see from front so I need to fan them position select fan also I need to show you something we can use the fan option with orientation too so you can see we can use the fan option with orientation And with Y, uh, with Y, it's not showing because Y axis is like this. It's a fixture that panning. So I'll make it zero, and we can use with Z. You can see. So let's keep like that. So now we have placed our fixtures how we want. So let's try them on with them red. Okay, then leave them blue and we can just bring it forward and let's switch on our face lights that's enough and our LED pass locate them and give them a color Then we can give a different color to the backlight. We can give them blue, white, and increase the brightness. Okay. So, my friends, that's the basic way to place our fixtures inside the Avalanche Capture Visualizer. And now you can make your dream stage inside the Capture Visualizer and pre visualize your stage. So, give it a go. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me or comment your question on the comment section. I will be more than happy to help you. I have to say, I'm also learning. So I would love to hear your ideas and learn from you too. So don't forget to share your ideas and your comments too. Till we meet with new knowledge to share. Keep in touch and keep learning every day. God bless you.